this theory is about the permanent STD that he has, or does he? They so caught up in my pie, but don't know what's inside. I've been down and I've been up, still ain't giving up. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, B Octavia, and I am back with another video. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is B Octavia. I am 23 years old, and I'm from Washington, D.C. A lot of people talk about a lot of the same things, but mine is just different. So if you are looking for different, subscribe, like this video, and let's get into it. So, in today's video, we are going to be doing a NBA young boy theory, okay? And this theory is about the permanent STD that he has, or does he? The question that I want to ask is, does NBA young boy really have herpes so i have this question for a number of reasons that i'm going to let you know right now and to start off if you do not know who nba young boy is he is a 20 year old rapper from baton rouge and he has been on top for a while now in the midst of his career he has been in and out of jail facing different things as far as murder charges and, and violating his probation things to that nature and within his career he has had a lot of relationships with young women one being the one with Jania which lasted I believe the longest there was a whole case from that the body slamming incident that everybody the whole world seen and what was also revealed around that time was that NBA young boy has herpes his mom was the first one to come out and to confirm that he had something young boy got herpes facts you know how many people in the world got herpes facts you can't die from it facts find some matter with it facts use a rubber and then Jania followed with saying that she had it as well. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Do we look the same? Yes. Can you tell? No. Does it affect our daily lives? No. Do we even sometimes forget that it's there because it doesn't affect us so much? <laughs> yes, we do. Like, what's in our blood? Nobody but us know about it. And now y'all know. In the discussion. Nothing else to talk about. The second thing that made it a validated point that she had herpes herself was that she did not have a natural childbirth. If you guys don't know, if you have a permanent STD such as herpes, there's like a less likely chance that you will be able to have a natural childbirth because when your child is coming out of the womb, there is some issue with the child contracting this sexually transmitted disease. Now, back to the point of this video because I'm going back and forth. I just want to give you guys what's on my brain right now. But back to it. Does NBA young boy have herpes? Well, I don't know. I'm starting to think that he doesn't because of this. He has came out in his music and said different things about pissing blood or or basically that he has herpes and his health and all of this, right? He has came out and said that he has this permanent STD. If he does in fact have herpes, this would be the first time in history that a flock of women know that a dude has a permanent STD such as herpes or HIV. They are stuck to him like glue. They are willing to contract this STD. They are taking the risk on contracting this STD. I had to really think about it. And in the process of me thinking about it, what I came to was it just really doesn't make sense. And I can say that for the other side, which is Jania's side. Jania has been dating people on and off since NBA Youngboy, including Jaden Youngin, etc., etc. As far as Jania goes, I know that young people can be stupid sometimes, but to me, there's no way in hell, okay? There is no way that 
men or, or boys, teenage boys, would still mess with her, knowing, and that is facts, that she actually has herpes. She's actually in a relationship right now, or a situationship, as I like to say, with some basketball player, I'm not sure. College, I don't know. Anyways, but it just doesn't make sense to me. Because that would mean that, come on, you're not celibate, okay? And that goes the same for NBA Youngboy. He has a child with K coming into this world, and supposedly his first baby mama or... Listen, it all just doesn't make sense when it comes down to the dating aspect of it. Because I know that there are certain ways to protect yourself against STDs, but you can get it a number of ways. There is different ways that you can contract herpes sexually. And both Jania and NBA Youngboy have not slowed down on dating. So that part of it really doesn't make sense. Because it almost seems like you're infecting people. And I remember she was saying that all of it was a ploy for more sales and all of this. Well, if that's true, it was a ploy for people to feel sorry for you. If that's true, then all of your tears about it and all of the struggles that you talked about with having herpes or even coming out and acknowledging that you had herpes was a lie. And was a ploy to make you seem so innocent. To make you seem like you didn't want anything out of the equation but and be a young boy. Not true. She said that. And she also said that once she drops this paperwork, which she never dropped, that everybody's going to have to shut up about it. Well, she still hasn't dropped that paperwork. So here we are. And these questions are going to continue these rumors are going to continue to swirl because it all just doesn't make sense so does k which is pregnant right now have herpes nobody's talking about that anymore there was paperwork that was put up but was there any scd on there nobody looked for it so it's just like a really biased thing it's like, Jania said she was going to drop paperwork. She never did that. Nobody talked about it being in Kay's paperwork. Nobody's even talking about it with Kay. The only people that they really talk about the herpes with is Arabian, which she really does seem like she has it, the way that she, she be licking her, you know what I'm saying? And, and a few other chicks that are really irrelevant in this moment in time. So what's really going on if it's a lie people need to know that if it's not true then that needs to be known i mean me personally that coming out about them having a permanent std while it is unfortunate i don't feel bad for them because it really means that you need to slow down and Having HIV is different because there are different ways that you can contract that as far as needles and sharing drugs with people, like the needles and everything. But in the same sense, a lot of people were living a fast lifestyle that contracted HIV. And that is a sign that you need to slow down. And your health can deteriorate to make you slow down. And that has happened. So it's like a back and forth thing of, well, this, I can believe he has herpes. And this, I really can't believe he has herpes. Because I don't want to believe that all of these little girls are that dumb. I don't want to believe that all of these girls have such daddy issues that they want to put their life in danger. I don't want to believe that. But it's really coming down to that. And I want to hear what you guys have to say about it because I'm really at a loss for words at this point. Is it true or is it not true? And if anybody who know NBA Youngboy see this, <laughs> well, patch them through. I want to I ask them some questions. 
And it could be a lie as the response. Who knows? But we need to figure this out. Because that is really bothering me. When I feel like certain things are a lie and certain things could be true. Well, that means that the whole thing is janky. That means that the whole thing is a ploy. And NBA Youngboy's music is very good. So, I really don't know why... You know, it's really not no point in him coming out and saying that he has this when he doesn't. But certain things, like I said, do not make sense. So, I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. I'm going to get out of here and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.